so the basic condition is x0 is equal to 0 y0 is equal to 0 we need to find the value of f of x y at x0 y0 so it will commit as 1 so since we are having only the one uh, slope that's why we need to keep blank mean slope so value of y1 we can find out with the help of Euler's formula y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 now putting the values y0 is equal to 0 h is equal to 0 0.1 and f of x0 y0 is equal to 1 so by this we will get the value of y1 is equal to 0 0.1 so the next value x1 which is equal to x0 plus h now x1 is equal to 0 0.1 and at that point value of y1 will be 0 0.1 which we have uh, find out over here now what we have to do we need to find the value of f of x1 y1 by putting the value of x1 and y1 in this equation we will get slope 1.2052 now here now we are having two slopes one and 1.2050 by this we need to find the mean slope which is 1 plus 1.2050 i have taken the first value which is related to x0 y0 and the second value which is related to x1 y1 and by taking the average of this i will get the mean slope 1.1026 now i can use the corrector formula y11 which is equal to means the better approximation of y1 only which is equal to y0 plus h into mean slope now we are having the mean slope 1.1026 don't take this value 1.2052 we have to take here the mean slope 1.1026 only so value of y0 which is equal to 0 plus 0.1 which is nothing but h and the mean slope 1.1026 so by this we will get the better approximate value of y1 which is 0 0.11026 now we need to do the second iteration for betterment of value y1 so i will take the y1 value which is which we have calculated over here instead of 0.1 now it is 0.11026 now by using these two values of x and y respectively we need to find the value of function so here it is function of x1 and y11 which is equal to 1.2154 remember that you need to put the value of x1 and y11 in this equation so that we will get the value of dy by dx at x1 y1 so here it is which we call that as slope now we are having at x0 y0 the first slope is of 1 and this one is the second slope so we need to take average of this 1 plus 1.2154 so i have taken one only the first uh, first slope means at the previous value of x and y only we have to take this slope and the current slope don't take this one now here it is the average and again by the corrector formula y12 means the better approximation of y1 which is equal to y0 plus h into mean slope I have to take this slope so by this I will get the value of 0 0.11077 now this third iteration for the betterment of value y1 so x1 as it is 0.1 the value of y12 is equal to 0 0.110277 I have taken value from here itself and now I need to find the again function at these two points. So it will be 1.2159. Again, I have to find out the mean slope. So while calculating in the mean slope, take the first slope and the current slope. 
so this will be the mean slope now by using the corrector formula I will find out the better approximation y3 third iteration y13 is equal to 0 0.11079 now if you see here the y12 which is equal to 11077 and here it is 11079 means the accuracy level is of point not 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 two that is the accuracy level but i will repeat this process one more iteration so that i will get the better approximate value so y13 third iteration and in the third iteration i will i have to take this value of y3 y13 now by putting these two values i will get one slope x1 y1 3 which is equal to 1.2159 see here the same values we are having so ultimately we will get the mean slope same because 1 plus 1.2159 divided by 2 so that ultimately means now here we are having the y1 3 third iteration value is equal to 0 0.11079 and for the fourth iterations or y14 which is also 0 0.11079 so i can fix here the value because we don't reduce or we are nearer to the approximate value of y so that ultimately means from this i can conclude at x1 is equal to 0.1 the value of y1 is equal to 0 0.11079 now this is the first step only and for the next step we have to start with this initial condition means now for the second step x1 and y1 value are the initial condition for the first step x0 y0 values are the initial condition now for the second step i have to again draw the same table but instead of x0 y0 i will take here initial condition as x1 and calculated value of y1 by using these two terms we need to find the value of x sorry f function so it will be 1.2159 since we have considered it as a first condition or initial condition for the second step there will be no mean slope now we need to find out the value of y2 by using euler's formula which is equal to y1 plus h into f of x1 y1 so y1 which is equal to 0 0.11079 plus h which is equal to 0 0.1 and f of x1 y1 which is equal to 1.2159 so by putting all these values we will get the new value of y which is y2 at x2 is equal to 0.23229 so i will take this value since the step size is of 0.1 so the next value of x is of 0.2 and at that y2 is equal to 0.23229 now this is the next value of y2 and now we need to do the iteration for the same value of y2 but at the better approximation so at these current values of x2 and y2 we need to find the function which is equal to 1.4537 now we are having the two slopes 1.2159 this one is the first slope and this one is the second slope by taking average of this we will get 1.3348 and now by using the character formula I have to calculate the better approximate value of y2 which is equal to y1 plus h into mean slope I have to take this mean slope again we will repeat the same see here I have not taken the x3 because we are working on value of y2 only so I have taken x2 as it is then value of y2 from here itself 
now at these two points we need to find the function now remember here we need to calculate the mean slope so mean slope should be the value of slope at the first condition and the current condition so the first condition is 1.2159 slope and at the current condition 1.46567 is the current condition slope so we have to take average of these two only for better understanding i have make here the red color so see here red color is constant only we need to change this values so this mean slope i have to use in corrector formula so that i will get the better approximate value of y2 which is 0.24486 now i will put one more time iteration the value of y2 0.24486 the function at these two points it will be 1.46626 now find the mean slope by using the first slope and the current slope which will be 1.34108 and now the answer is of 0.24489 now if you see these two terms which are nearly equal so we can say that at x2 is equal to 0.2 the best approximate value of y2 which is equal to 0.2448 and this will be the answer thank you for watching and stay connected for more videos if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe like and share